Hi guys, welcome to being Wendy. My name is Wendy, aka Mama Dana. And I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle, and anything that I feel like telling you guys about. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to get notified anytime I post a video. Today I am with this babe. Yes, I'm, so I'm with this girl. Uh, I think because of lighting. Ooh. Yeah. So Hi. we're going for a small hike at Ngong Hills. Yeah, in plans for a bigger project that hopefully if we see it through, you guys will see it on the channel. Yay! But yeah, so we're starting with Ngong Hills and um, right now we're actually packed. I'm waiting for my cousin and her boyfriend to get here and then we will take you guys through. So right now we are in, um, yeah, we're on Langata Road. We are heading towards Ngong Road, towards Ngong. So we're going to use the current way and then, yeah. So I barely know the route, so I'm actually going to have my cousin or her boyfriend drive whoever will decide they want to attend our mefika but yeah so we will see you guys later so oh, yes let's go to ngong hills mm -hmm. it's our first time there by the way yeah so yeah <laughs> So we're five minutes in and it's not easy because we're so unfit. Okay. <laughs> My cousin here, Prudence, say hey. Hey! I don't know if you because of light. Then there's Trixie. And then we yeah, yeah. our tour guide. <laughs> Which <laughs> Background. In the fourth. In the fourth hill. So we're gonna go up. Up, up, up. So we've done the fourth hill. Um, it was a bit tough. So we actually headed um, there. If you guys can see over there, that's the fifth one, and then six, seven. Hopefully, I hit seven hills. So if if I draw, to that John Belly. How is it so far for the body? It's probably the most um, like the heaviest thing I've done in a really long time physically. Like, yeah, I can feel my body being strained to keep under. So it means I need to work out. Yeah, and I need to take care of my body. Then my people are over there. They are we're just taking pictures. So see my gram. Um yeah, this is such a beautiful like it's so scenic, yeah. Me. My camera is not even that good. Like I want to invest in a better work so that I do better vlog. But yeah, and I hope this is this is probably not going to be the only thing we're going to do, the only hike. We're gonna do more and I'm gonna be taking you guys in me. I'm so excited. Like this is this is so beautiful. Wow, I hope you guys should do it. But please work out. <laughs> please keep fit and stay healthy. Land. So in the world I'm taking pictures. Already. Yeah. Our people are here for Sherehe. Such a good place. Like I was even looking I'm like so beautiful for like picnics and all that. Like you don't even have to hike. You can get like there's a lot of parking space once you've gotten in. Yeah. And I advise come with a big car. My car is pretty small, so we struggled a bit, so we had to leave it somewhere. But then we started coming without um yeah, then we started coming, we decided to just start walking. It wasn't easy, like it wasn't really easy at all. But you've done it, we've done four, so three more to go. And it's good to come with a group because at least we've been encouraging ourselves, each other. It's been nice. And I'm seeing people come here with their children. 
Um, entrance was 232 shillings per person, and that's all we paid for. We didn't pay for car entrance or anything. That's all we paid for. Um, other than that, let's keep going and then to Tona. Yeah, let's just see the single. Yeah. We're tired. This fourth hill is no joke. Trixie is coming. So it's prudent. Mohora is ahead of us. Come on this way. It's so steep. So um, after the fourth hill, it's become a bit easier because it's a bit flat. So we've we'll come from there, it's a bit flat. Then I'm going downwards, downwards there, then we'll go up. It's crazy, guys. It's crazy. You should have started this thing in the morning, front end. Started around one. So I guess I'm finishing at three, probably finish by six. So I'm assuming this is like four, five hour hike, um, depending on how like for completion to go and come back. But depending on how, um, depending on how fit you are and how much time it takes. So for us, what I'm doing, because I'm ahead of it, I'm way ahead. What I'm doing is, when we're going down, I'm really going fast. And I'm coming, taking my time so that I can finish quickly. <laughs> so we're in the bush. <laughs> And you look on the same evil. So good. My people, hi. Jixi, <laughs> you're still here. No, Okay. Prudence, how has it been so far? I don't know. Great. It's but not so bad. But in a chokesha, Cinder. Like we didn't know what we were signing up for. We didn't. So we'll be prepared better for the other hikes. <laughs> yeah. So it's a bit steep, guys. It's fucking steep. Guys, one more to go. Akuna one more. One more to go. And then um we will and then we are we've had from here one tough hill and then from there it's just straight 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 so it's good people are really hiking it's nice i love it the scenes are so beautiful please check my instagram for reels and tiktok boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. guys we have a few more minutes We're on to the last, the toughest, but almost done. I'm so proud. Towards in. Guys, we did it. I literally did it. Seven hills up. We're done. This was a bit flat. This was nice. So we're going to go back. Let me show you. I hope this. Yes. It's not Rudivi. Seven more to go. So we're halfway there. We've done so far 13,000 steps, I believe. 11, 13,000, yeah. Um, yeah, so, I really want to get this over and done with because we have like an hour to finish. I, I'm hoping we're going to do it like an hour, an hour and a half because we want to buy Yama and, and plan. Yeah, buy Yama, have it taken to the house. But when we get there, we just eat and then guys can start leaving from our I don't know. We're late, really late, so. Let's hope and pray that we actually get to finish this. Oh my god. This is so beautiful! We finished 5 hours. It's 6 pm and came here at 1. So we are 5 hours. It took us 3 hours to go and um, 2 hours back because we parked a bit far from where everyone else is parking. Trixie is already at the car. 
accidents and Muhoro are coming. I hope you guys can hear me because of the wind and all this. It's, it's a bit loud. Um, I'm so proud of myself. My first ever hike. How was it? It wasn't easy. Um, because I haven't been, been working out as I should. Um, this is so beautiful. I haven't been working out as I should. Um, so it was a bit challenging. It was quite challenging, not a bit, quite. Because it got to a point where like, guys, we need to keep going, we need to keep going. So, what do I recommend? I think I will do the recommendations with my friends when everyone is like seated in the car and resting because we've ordered food. We're waiting for them to like deliver to our, my home and then we'll just go eat there. If it's late, then everyone will just sit and eat. I mean, everyone will sleep at my house. But yeah, this is a really good experience. Like if you ask me, I think we did, did a really good job. Seven hills, five hours. Hi, today is Sunday. We hiked yesterday. So we got home, had dinner, um, we ordered food, and then we slept. Everyone slept at my place. Um, they woke up early, and by around 10, 11, they left. Um, I didn't have time because I thought, actually, the plan was to do a swim. Like, we're supposed to go for swimming. But then um, Trixie, I think, had plans. I mean... Yeah, she had work and, and all that, so she had to be prepared. So they decided to just leave at the same time, So which is which was fine by me. Um, So I'm going to do this final part alone because I really wanted to um think about yesterday and what we learned so that I'll be able to put it out to you guys nicely so that you guys can also learn or when you guys have a hike so that you might know, you might be well prepared, better prepared than we were. So, um... Number one, generally, how was it? Um, for someone who doesn't work out as much, um, I really did. I, I, I feel like I really pushed myself. Um, I didn't know what to expect. So I had no idea what we were signing up for. So it was very, very challenging. But then um, my mind, I was positive. Uh, I had a really good mindset. Like I knew I was going to finish this thing, whether I'm going to finish alone or with everyone i knew I, was, I had to do it like i really had to um uh yeah so for me it was very challenging um but i pushed myself to finish and we did seven hills to and fro so it's practically like 14 hills the same hill twice and it's like going up coming down going up coming down seven times it's, it wasn't easy it was crazy um i realized by the time we were reaching fifth the fifth hill anyone you were meeting was just like hi don't worry, you guys are almost there. Keep going, keep going. Like, there's so much positivity. I remember I met a girl, I think, at the third hill, and she's like, hmm, y'all are just starting. And I was like, that's no way to tell people who you feel are like, you know, we're like, we're so tired. And this is only the third hill. She's like, hmm, you're just starting. And I was like, no, encourage people. Say, you know what, you're going to do better. You're going to be great. So most of the time, we were lying to, we lied to our friend Trixie that. Going hills is one hill. <laughs> when we finished the first one, I was like, mm, it's only two hills. Jalini, I'm sure. Like, we had to do that to encourage her to do it. Um, because for us, uh, yeah, because for me, I actually kind of just pulled her out of the house to do this. And she didn't really know what she was signing up for. But she did so well. And now when it comes to that teamwork, for us, it was amazing. We were four. Trixie, Prudence, Brian, and me. Um, I remember there are times like we felt like giving up, but it was always, don't worry, guys, we're going to do it. We didn't come here to not finish. We came here to finish. Because if we don't finish, it means we have to come back and finish again. And no, we don't have that kind of time. I have exams in like a week or so. Um, my friends have work. Like we might not have time like that because we are all friends, but we have other friends that need our time as well. So, yeah, so basically we really those the teamwork was crazy and it was we are not leaving anyone behind. So if we feel like someone was a lagging behind, we stop, wait for you, we get there. We encourage you, we tell you, okay, let's sit for a few minutes and then we continue. Yeah, maybe that helped, made us take a bit longer, but it was good because everyone achieved the goal, like everyone was pushed to the limits. Yeah. So yeah, it was amazing. So we kept pushing, we kept helping each other holding hands let me pull you up let me you know you know it was just for me i really loved that i went to the people that i did because 
I knew I needed people to push me, at least even mentally, so that I'll be able to push push my body physically to be able to like really go through with this. Um, yeah. When it comes to snacks, so entrance is 232 bob. Why? We don't know. <laughs> Maybe ni I don't know. But um 232, and we think we paid it via Mpesa. Um what I recommend if you're going for a hike, uh, I recommend you carry water. Avoid plastic bottles. So carry bottle like your bottles, yeah. Your bottles, the recycle recyclable ones. Recycle the recyclable. <laughs> the ones you can recycle. <laughs> um carry those ones. Carry at least two bottles per person or something like that. If you take a lot of water, just carry carry a lot of water. Um, something else I noticed is when there's a time Trixie was really done and I was like, I have an apple, take this. Cause you know the natural sugars with fruits, it give her energy. So I was like, next time we need more like apples, bananas, of course, bananas, cause they replace electrolytes and all that. And, um, this thing, what is it called? Glucose. I think glucose is very important for a hike. Just to add sugar levels so that you can be able to keep going. Because I remember by the time we got to the seventh hill, my, my cousin Prudence came just told me, when did she cast skittles? And there were like three skittles. And I was like, thank you. I needed sugar, you know, to just keep going, keep going. Yeah. And another thing is I highly recommend you go early. We started late. We started hiking at one. So we finished at six. Yeah. By the time it was six, we were coming back alone. And I think your team effort here, we are working with so many people was very encouraging yeah so that was one of the things i feel like we should have done better we should have woken up earlier done this earlier but you know what i don't regret it i had a great group yeah um another thing is so we've talked about how i felt i've talked about my friends teamwork we've also talked about money and yeah so Uzuri, they, oh another thing is please have a car okay i know some people might not have and if you have access to a car go with it and go with a like probably a, a car that's in good condition and um four by four because the way up there can be a bit tricky for smaller cars my my car really struggled and i was like oh, i wish you came with a different car but yeah we struggled with my car so we had to pack a bit somewhere else and then we walked along like we walked some distance. So while coming back, we're like, what? We walked all this way so far. Yeah. But all in all, so this was my first ever hike. I think I did great. I think my friends did great. Um, For our first time, I highly recommend if you're like, you like outdoors and things like that. I'm learning. This is, this is a new me, new passions, new goals, new. I'm just, I'm happy about this. I'm happy about what I'm doing now um yeah so basically i had a great time we did around twenty three thousand steps approximately um five hours in around 15 16 kilometers of trekking so yeah it wasn't easy but we did it and we did it strong so we're gonna do another hike um i don't jinx so um this is this is the new lifestyle i want for myself i realize i'm very outdoorsy i like camping and things these are things i never did so i'm starting to do them now maybe i i I don't know i'm just really enjoying this outdoorsy kind of thing so yeah basically that's that and with that i think i'm going to end the video so thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and then we will see you in the next video i will try my best to be as consistent as possible from the top bye guys Keep it civil, my flow's crystal So clear, all the fakes goes, it's now official Kuna vita mtani, wasani Kuna vita mtani Kuna vita mtani, wasani Kuna vita mtani First of all, spend your attention Nime toka fami, sinaka maneno Nime kana ma homie pale buru face too Kwenye studio na ma flow, mazezi ki come through Kaweka throwbacks a kina bamboo Kala mashaka na zizi na kina wahoo Klepto K-rap na Yasi My homie wana wika tu